everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I really wanted to show you something that I came across that I thought was so cool. It's probably been around forever, but it's new to me, so I wanted to share it with you, and it's so much fun, and it's so easy, and it's a great addition to any junk journal. It's doodle fun that is very colorful, and you can actually make it any colors that you like. You can color it with anything that you like, but the technique is so unusual and so easy, it's mind-blowing, and I just, I just have to share this with you. I think it's called neurographic drawing or doodling, neurographic doodling. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted to show you this one. This is one I made with some fine uh, tip markers and just some gel pens and things like that. It's, if you can't tell, it's the word journal, but it's not so much about the word anymore as it is the art design. I think it has even a little bit of um, almost a graffiti look to it. Okay, so here's another one that I made. Now here's the first one that I made. It's just playing. This is uh, the, obviously the word fun, and uh, I'm going to show you how I did it. It's very quick, very easy. These words can be fussy cut out or uh, put into journals. They can be put on covers or used as uh, uh, journal cards, things like that. You can have a lot of fun making different words. You can relate them to the theme of your journal, and you can also color code and color match the colors that you put in here to your journal. So there we go. Now bear with me, I was just playing, so I was trying different techniques. This one is made with um, a black marker and gel highlighters and some different other funky things, which I will show you. But really you can use anything to color them in, whether you have pencil crayons or crayons or distress crayons or... Uh, here's one I even did with um, oil pastels. And this was done on a piece of a digi kit. And I just wanted to see what it would show up look like. And I thought that was a really interesting contrast. It's the word bliss if you can't see it. And that's okay if you can't. But uh, the, the original paper was from 1950. And then it has uh, modern graffiti style across it, which I thought was an interesting... Um, I'm not going to use the word. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's very different. Um, so there you go. Uh, it's a contrast. It's a contrast, shall we say. Okay, so what I did was I just took some, uh, this is cardstock, but you could use regular paper. It doesn't matter. And let me just see if I can see what you're seeing so I make sure we're all in view. Okay, so let's maybe, let's do this one first. So something along this style. This has, this is a finer style. And uh, I just used, I'll show you what I used for each of them. This is a Sharpie pen fine point. So basically, um, it's a Sharpie pen pen skinny marker tip. Okay, so let's let's pick a, uh, we'll pick a three letter word. Um, how about uh, yes? Okay, so the first thing you do is you print the word. Okay, so just don't overthink it, just print the word. Okay, yes. Okay, now you go ahead and you print it again, not thinking too much, but maybe um, I would say in your mind, crank it up one notch in size, so just make it a little bigger. Go quickly, don't think about it. Okay, looks like a mess, right? The last time, the third time, you're going to write in cursive. So however you would, don't think about it again. There, okay, total mess, right? Okay, here comes the magic part. Now what you're gonna do is take whatever coloring instruments that you have, and I think, I haven't tried pencil crayons yet, colored pencils, depending on what, what they're, uh, what neck of the woods you're from, but I'm just going to use some colored pencils here. And uh, you can do different things. You can go with three colors and just keep rotating the colors. And maybe let's do that. Let's, uh, let's pick... Um, I've got a pretty this color, a pretty that color, and maybe let's maybe get a green or something that might be nice. Okay, let's get that color. Okay, so they're nice contrasting colors. You could use anything you like. Let me just try and stay in frame here so you can see. And what I do is you're going to address each letter as you go, like do the Y, then the E, then the S, one area on each as we go. And what I, I to keep it easier for myself so I can actually see progress, I try and hit the biggest area first. So the biggest blank space, you're going to come and fill in um, the area inside of one of the spots. It doesn't have to be perfect drawing, okay? It's okay, because mine is never perfect drawing. But um, yeah, yeah, so just go ahead and fill in an enclosed spot wherever you see it. Okay, now the pencil crayon or the colored pencil works well with the thinner line because you can still see the black line, which is good. Okay, and let's say my yes is here. 
or my S and my yes is here. Okay. And just uh, get close to the edges. There we go. All right, now let's move along to the next color. Now we're going to bring in the yellow and I'm going to look for the next biggest spot. Just quick, it's not, doesn't have to be exact. There's no science to that. It just, I don't know, it kind of makes you feel like you're making progress. Um, these, this is also very fun and very relaxing and uh, highly enjoyable if you had um, lots of, uh, you know, hoo-ha over the holidays and you just want to decompress and unwind. This is a grand way to do it. Yeah. And you can do this with um, somebody's name. You can do this with your favorite words. You can do it with your um, uh, theme of your journal, uh, words related to that. Okay, let's go... I would say this whole area, since it's all open, there's no closed areas, I'm just going to go ahead and color this all in. <coughs> Sorry, not COVID. Um, okay, there we go. All right, and I'm just going to do this little area up here and just keep rotating back and forth. You just carry on and um, Try and pick uh, maybe areas that don't butt up against each other the, that are the same color so you get some contrast going there. That will be your friend. So keep moving across your three letters and just stay in whatever areas are boxed off or almost boxed off. I found it works either. Even though this one doesn't have a definitive end on it here, it's okay. You just color it in. I think this guy needs a little bit more color. He looks a little pale. Yeah, there we go. There you go. And you start again. Now, what color are we? It doesn't really matter. Just yellow. Okay, we'll go with yellow. Maybe put yellow here. Okay, it's a nice yellow, nice vibrant. Okay. And this way you know that you're spacing it out um, equally among all the colors. You're getting an equal color distribution by picking it up and putting one little piece of color, lay down a piece of color in each area each time you go, addressing it in each letter. Okay, and let's see, okay, now sometimes it gets a little tricky at the end because you may end up with little areas that uh, might abut, so you can kind of figure out at the end a little fine tuning if you want to adjust it, you know, to put a dash of pink, a dash of yellow, a dash of green, however you like to, okay, so now that's be a lot of pink there, so I think I'm going to probably put green there, okay, but no, that's kind of closer, but here maybe I could put a little pink. And uh, where else? Oh, yeah, no, that would be a budding. And here, I guess I could continue this with pink. That would be all right. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. And uh, let's go with um, uh, maybe a little bit of green in there. Let's just go for finishing it off now. Finishing the big finale. Ooh. Here we go. And we are almost done. Sometimes other spots will pick up, pop up in front of you like, oh, I missed an area. And then you just go in and you fill it in because it's no big deal and nobody's watching anyway. So it's okay. <laughs> uh, nobody's watching, right? Um, okay, now here's a little area that I might want to add just for some emphasis. And you can kind of see how just adding extra little areas gives it even more pop. Yeah. Okay. So once you have all your areas... Uh, maybe I'll just come and do that a little bit. Here we go. And, yep. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow here, just down that side, colored here. So there you go. So you can fill them up or as much as you want and you can keep going. It's perfectly okay. Maybe we'll do a little bit more yellow up here to give it a little boost. There we go. So now we have this really cool word. Isn't that awesome? That is so cool, right? Now, so this is done with colored pencil. So let's take a look at how that looks in comparison to, this is done with uh, gel pens, metallic pens and things like that. So you can get very different looks. You can use more muted colors or bright colors, totally up to you. Uh, let's try one with the, the fatter approach. Here we are with something like this. Now that's very fun. So. Um, we'll, we'll start on, um, we'll do a couple of these and then we'll go to doing one on a printed background. Like you could do it on book page. Maybe we'll try it on book page. That might be a good idea. All right, I'm running out of uh, th uh, <laughs> three letter words. Okay, how about uh, cat? There we go. Good, great word, Pam. Okay, see, so is this the right thickness? Yeah, that's, is this hard on the end? Not bad. You want something that has a little stiffness on the end? Maybe I've got a better one than that. Which one did I use? Just the S? Nope. Hang on. This is when you have too many toys. There we go. This end, 
of a Faber Castell SC Pit Artist Pen. There we go. Number soft chisel 199. Dot dot dot. Okay. Uh, so let's go for the word cat. Very simple word. Here we go. Ready? Cat. Okay. Now thinking thinking bigger. Okay. And then now I'm going to write. And now it looks just like a gall darn mess, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and color it in. And this time, let's use the gel pens and see how that looks. Oh, hello, sunshine. Did you hear a noise? You woke up? He woke himself, <laughs> he woke himself up out of a dream or something. This is a jelly roll pen. Sakura makes these. These are really um, fun to work with. If you've never worked with jelly roll pens, they come in sparkle and metallic and all sorts of fun things. So the, the process again that I use, there's a, probably a million and one ways to approach this, but it's coloring in the area, the biggest area first. And I made these big for um, uh, video purposes, but you can certainly do these words a lot smaller and they would only take two seconds to fill in because they are little and it doesn't take that long to fill in little areas. So this is, this is a whole hoot nanny basket full of fun. Um, just kind of goofing around and seeing what's out there. And, and you know, uh, other people are thinking up awesome things and I'm happy to come on, come on along for the ride. So way to go all you artist folk out there for coming up with these fun things. And, and you make it easy for um, those of us who are dabbling in the arts, you know, we're like on, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm on the periphery and I'm, I'm like on the outside looking in like, what would it be like if I picked up that or played with that? And here I am, I'm trying to go through my drawers and use what I have. So there we go. Okay, big piece, big piece, big piece in this unknown color. Yep, I don't know what the color is. Some, it's got a number. Here, I'll show it to you. There it is. Yep, okay. Now let's try, I'm gonna, you, you could probably use similar colors too. That might be interesting, but I like the contrast. Okay, what is this? This is metallic. So this is gonna change color when I put this on here. So I'll go for the next biggest areas. This looks like green. Will it stay green? Or will it turn a silvery? We shall see, we shall see. We never know with these things. Yep, that's right. It's always mystery. And these little open ends, I don't worry about them too much. I just kind of finish them off and, and you know, say, hey, that's good. Now let's go in here. And just follow, remember? Stay in the lines. Everything reverts back to when we were little, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Isn't that where all the joy lives? So there we go. All right, and then here's a big area. So let's do this. Sometimes it's easier if you outline, or inline actually, we're inlining the area. And then it's easier to color in. Everything goes smoothly. You know what else works very well here is uh, you can use watercolor uh, pencils or watercolor and to fill in these areas because uh, the sharpie markers that are using we're using on the outside are not water soluble so you can use water soluble things on the inside and it'll come out looking really cool and you can get depth too and you can make the edges darker and stuff like that with watercolor which is kind of fun okay so we have two colors we're working with so far and then maybe we'll come along with um, I don't know. What are you feeling like today? Now, I would say probably stay away from a Tombow or a Marvy um, alcohol marker of any of those types. I don't know if this is an alcohol marker. I have a funny feeling it is because it will dissolve the black walls. But let's see if we can stay in the line and see what will happen if I dissolve it. It's pulling it in a little bit, but if you can stay in the center and stay away from the lines, it's not so bad. Okay, let's put down here and then maybe over here. Do, do, do. Got to be very ginger, ginger, ginger. Probably better not to, to use something that dissolves with it, but I just wanted to show you what would happen if you did. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so let's, um, I'm going to keep going with the colors we were using. Let's see what kind of drama we can create with that. Here's a big area. And this is a very pretty sparkly gel pen. And I think the more you use your gel pens, the better, because I think it keeps things flowing. Uh, probably when you forget about them like I do, um, then they get thicker and stuck. But if you keep using them, there you go, that's the magic. And trying to look for areas that don't touch each other, the same color. Oh, running out there, it's okay, we can go over here. Um, and, okay, are we, are we getting low? Let's see what we got. Okay, so let's see what we got left. We got this. Okay, oh yeah, a little streaky, not bad though. Keep going. And then here, OK. 
Okay, easy to fill in with these markers. And what else? We want to put something here probably, huh? Oh, you know, I'm sorry, but does that cat not look like a cat? I mean, is anybody else seeing this? We, I think we have to just finish it off and make it look like a kitty cat that it was meant to be. All right, are you going to work with me? You might work. Okay, let's see. We have a, we have a paw and the ear. Okay. Okay, getting silly now, but I'm going for it. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Do you see the cat? Do you see the cat? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It just all of a sudden looked like a cat to me. So that's how you can go. You can roll with it. But see, yeah, it's just, it's very shiny. Can you see the shine? Can you see it? It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, very fun. So a lot of fun that you can have like that. Now let's try one. Uh, let me back up a little bit so you can see what on earth is going on. I probably made you seasick. Um, okay. So here's some examples, and let me get a book page, and then we will try one on a book page. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I found some, a book page from a hymnal, and this might be fun. Let's give this a go. All right, and I'll show them all to you again at the end, just so you can get the bird's eye view. All right, let me back up a little bit so you can see the whole page. Whoa, that was a lot backing up. Okay, there we go, that's better. Okay, all right, let's go in here and let's pick, um, pen of choice. I think I'm going to do a more uh, delicate one on this particular drawing. So let me find the right nub. That's a possibility. This one's too thin. Maybe was it this one? No. Nope. Mm, maybe a little thin. Maybe we'll go with this one again. The Sharpie pen in fine. Okay. Here we go. So let's pick a nice three letter word. Are oh, you too far away? Okay. Let's come in a little closer. Closer. Whoop. There we go. Focus. Yeah. Okay. There we are. Um, how about the word bless? That's a nice word. Okay, so let's do that. Let's let's print it first twice. Bless. Not thinking too much. Not thinking too much. And do it again. Maybe a little bigger, a little smaller, a little cockeyed. Don't think about it too much. Don't think about it too much. Okay, I know that's hard to see. Um, let me come in a little closer. There we go. All right. And now let, we're going to write it this time. We're going to do... Um, Cursive, okay. Not thinking. Okay, there we go. Nice and messy. Nice and blessy messy. All right, so let's go ahead and color it in and see what we get. Sometimes at this point you think, this is horrible. Don't stop there. I want you to keep going. Just keep, like, I want you to push through. Push through, carry on, and just see what happens. Okay, I, I grabbed purple, pink, and silver. Let's see what happens in that. These are all some kind of jelly roll pens in different things. I have no idea what they are. They're all mixed up. Yeah. Okay, so let's try for the big areas first. Where are you? Can you see? Okay. All right, here we go. I'm just going to inline. Inline. And then color in. And this beautiful purple. Are you going to stay purple? Or are you going to transfer to turn into silver? I think it's turning into silver. That's okay. I'm not worried, even though I have a silver coming up. So I might change that other silver color. I don't want two silvers. Okay, all right, and let's see, we have something here, this little area, fill you in on the E. This again is very relaxing, so if you're looking for something fun to do that uh, is low stress, you can probably find something to color with, whether it be crayons or magic markers or, you know, uh, be a good mom and swipe your kids stuff. Be a good grandma and swipe your grandkids stuff. It's all right. Probably bought it anyway. <laughs> okay, here is um, Jelly Roll Moonlight number six. Yep, some funky number. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Uh, yeah, I'm totally going silver here, so we will maybe try something else other than the silver. I don't know what, what, what it's probably designed to do that. Okay, that's okay though. Okay, just gonna outline the area. And color in. I have to go over this a little bit. Some kind of jelly something. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, so I hope you're having fun today. I hope you're exploring and playing with your papers and you're just trying goofy little things because it's totally okay to do that and highly encouraged. Highly encouraged, I must add. Yes. Okay. Do your inlining. 
And then come in and color it in. Okay, I think I need another contrasting color. What do you think would be good? Green, blue? Mm, I don't know, it's just all so, there's so many to pick from. Let's all rummage in the box and we'll see what we can find together. Am I still in frame? Yes. Okay, I'll move my hand so you can kind of get a, a see of what we've got so far. We've got that so far. Remember, it doesn't look like much at this stage, so don't give up. Just just, just keep at it and, and just give it a go. So I wanted you to see that you can do this on different kinds of backgrounds. You could do this on scrapbook paper, um, pu crossword puzzles, uh, dictionary page, uh, fiction book, um, children's drawings. You could do it right over the top. You could, um, you know, if you have... Uh, somebody's name that you want to do, and they really into music, this would be a cool way to um, accentuate their name in a book, or maybe the theme that they like. Maybe they like um, Edith Holden. You could do Edith, you know, who knows? All right, there we go. All right, so let's just come on along and find another pretty color in the bucket of buckets here. What do we got, what do we got? What's this? See, sometimes I don't even know what I have. Glitter marker. Let's see how this goes. I don't know how old this is. Um, I don't know if it's dry. Let's just give it a try. Okay. No, no, but it's like, like a little dry. That's not the best thing in the world. Um, maybe we'll skip that one. Put you in the dud, dud market. Uh, let's try a different one. You? What are you, Jane Davenport? Paint over pen. Wow, that sounds fancy. All right, Jane, let's see what this does. Oh, okay. Very nice. It's like a like a lime, very it's like a soft lime. That's pretty, Jane. You did nice, nice work there. Oh yeah, that looks really cool, doesn't it? Can you see it contrasting and popping? Very nice. Okay, let's see. Yes, just a little bit in every area. Okay, so maybe let's try some, I'm gonna add some different, I want a real purple. Do I have a real purple? What's this? What's this, Jane? This is my Southern Ocean. Did I try this before? Let me just do a dot on something and see if it works. I'm going to test. A little dry. All right, we'll put you in the come back later and see if we can get you to survive bucket. All right, how about, well, they got a Tombow or a Marvy, a Marvy La Plume. All right, let's try you. You're a very different color. All right, let's just go for it. We won't even worry about it. Nope. We've got lots of round shapes here in the curlies. Oh, let's see where else can we, we can do this area here. Very pretty. Now these colors don't necessarily have to go together to look, to look cool. So don't get too worried about color matching and everything. Don't you like spend an hour trying to pick your colors out or you'll never do it. You just got to get in there and doodle draw because you can't, you're not going to run out of words and I, I'll bet you won't run out of paper. I mean, if you've got one novel that, you know, everybody's read in the house, you're, you're good. You're good for a while. Um, maybe we need to put some balance weight down here. Let's fill in one of these little areas just to say we did. Okay. There. Maybe over here. Okay. Um, there. So now we have that. All right. Now let's carry on. That was pretty intense, right? So maybe, maybe, just maybe, we're going to come with something softer, like maybe this, this funny little softness color of a coppery something. No idea what this is going to look like when we're done, but we're just going for it. So this is where just throwing the book at it, literally, the multicolors here, just to see what happens. I mean, where are we going with this? Nobody knows. Nobody knows where we're going with this, but we're coloring. Trying to get the big blocks first. Try and get those big blocks first. So you just feel like you're making progress then. Yeah. And you're like, oh, now I can start seeing it come together. It's looking kind of cool. It's like it was all planned out and I measured it or something, but I didn't. And you don't have to tell anybody that we didn't measure it at all. No, we just drew it. So we print, print, write. That's it. Print, print, write. Print, print, write. Is the way to do it. Okay, so we have that. So maybe we need a little, I don't know, I feel like I need some yellow or something. Something to wake it. Really, it's kind of cool the way it is though. Isn't it? It's kind of looking very awesome. It's almost like robotic or something. Look how shiny that metallic color is. That's really cool. Um, okay, I'm just going to come in with a, a colored pencil and just see what happens. Uh, okay, down here. So you can, you can combine things. They don't all have to be the same um, it doesn't all be, it doesn't have to all be 
jelly rolls. It doesn't have to all be um, oil pastels. You can mix and match. Hey, this is your art. You are now officially mixed media. If you're mixing media, you're, you're using different things. Look at you go. Look at you go. I know. I know, right? Okay, so just trying to look for the little areas that might look cute if I just accent them up a little bit with these little accent colors. Okay, something in here. And, okay, I think we need a little color there. A little color under here. It's actually okay if you kind of go outside of the line. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, it somehow all blends together. I don't know why, it just does. So just, just keep moving forward like we talked. Did we try this one? No, we didn't do it. It looks really close to that. No, let's try something different. Uh, I'm gonna try some. Okay, we have silver. We have red. What else are we gonna try? I'm just digging here so what we can find. Oh wait, could we, we have some intense blue. This will really, this will either be really cool or blow it right out of the water. Okay, we're just gonna go for it and see. Oh, look when this one's never been used. It's got the little, the little jelly thing on the end. I'm gonna pick that off, okay. Yeah, remember, like, if you find that your pencil isn't working, check for that, because sometimes it's that. It's got the little plasticized cap. Okay, it writes. We're good. All right, let's go in. Maybe we'll color in this little area here. Yeah, there we go. We're all colored in now. Got a little area out here. These skinny little finishing touch areas. Um, I got one little tiny one there. And I got a bigger one down here. Let me inline it. So I can reckless abandon color. Hey, there we go. Oh, how about over here? Can, am I still in view? Can you see? Okay, it's my big fat hands in the way, right? I know, I hear you. Okay, let's just get all the little areas. Yeah. Oh, I think that looks kind of cool. Look at that. I mean, who knew, right? That looks awesome. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's... Uh, it's a fun thing if you have, you know, just goofing around. This is one of these goofing around. It's a, it's a Friday. We're goofing around. We're just having some good old papery fun. And look what we made. Pretty cool. Okay, let me back up a little so you can get a better idea. So that's what we've got. I mean, kind of awesome, right? So you could see tearing that out and gluing it to a page or maybe putting it on a journal card or maybe a greeting card or, um, you know, you could do ex libris like this. That would be a lot of fun too. So let's take a quick peek at the little lovelies that we, we made today. Or we, we saw, let me, am I backed up enough? Let's see. We're gonna show you all the examples. Enjoy. Oh, no. Oh, oh, journal. I like that delicate one. That's probably, probably and then I, I think that's my second favorite right there. Although this, yes, it's kind of pulling at my heartstrings. And the cat, you know, hey, there we go. So uh, I hope you had fun. I hope this was a little uh, exposure to maybe something different, something new, or if you've already played with it, please put any tips or tricks that you might know down below because we'd all love to learn from each other here. And um, this is a lot of fun. So if you're just goofing around and you want something easy, here you go. Uh, neurographic drawing or doodling. I think it's kind of fun. So um, welcome everybody who is brand new. Thank you everybody who has been here. And uh, I really appreciate you all guys, uh, you all guys, you all guys hanging out. <laughs> And um, let's see, my videos, um, if you haven't heard, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they cover um, junk journal making, paper crafting, life of a crafter, answering crafty questions, and it's free to listen to on all um, podcast platforms. And uh, if you don't have a podcast platform, you can just look click the link down below or punch in anchor the paper outpost and it will come out uh, come up and um, also I have uh, a Facebook group if you want to come on over and join our Facebook group we're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly monthly challenges plus just seeing what you guys make from these videos it's a lot of fun and um, um, I have an Etsy shop where I have vintage digital kits where you're going to find uh, things like this you're going to find birds and nature and uh, woodland creatures and um, all sorts of interesting things, mushrooms and fairies and dragonflies and, and uh, you name it, all sorts of uh, themed pictures that you can, um, I have um, di kits made up, they're called Vintage Digi Kits, they're printable downloads and um, they are uh, JPEG images, five uh, pages to a kit and um, you can print them out and down, or 
at home or if you don't have a printer I have a print and mail service so check that out as well if you want to do the print and mail service just simply um, email me your list of 10 digikits and I will uh, print them off and mail them to you just uh, click on the print and mail option purchase that option and there you go and uh, you can oh I also have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies I think I have these jelly pens in there if you're looking for that or some kind of specialized drawing I also use these today these are um, oil pastel so if you have any of those laying around that one did bliss here that's how that color came out and um and you can find me on instagram pinterest twitter linkedin and facebook and all my links are located down below in the drop down description box and if you happen to be on your phone if you just touch the title of the video it should open up the drop down description box i also have a free monthly emailed newsletter if you haven't signed up for that yet come on aboard because you get a free digital image emailed to you every month i try and give it to you in different sizes on one page so it's multi-use for you and uh, you're going to get junk journal tips, um, updates from me, checklist of supplies, a special note from the bookmaker that you can make your own. Um, it tells you what a junk journal is or explains, and it also um, explains to people how to, how to maybe approach using a junk journal. And I usually, uh, for my Chunky Monkey journals, I will tuck one of those in the front of the journal to give somebody an explanation of what on earth I just gave them. <laughs> and uh, then, it, oh, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell. And most of all, hang on, you want to say hi? Sure, hold on, hold on. <sighs> yeah. Three-letter word? Dog. Dog. That's all I'm saying. Dog. Okay, back to sleep now. Bye, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want to wake up the little sleeping giant. Okay. No, you go back to sleep, baby. All right. Um, yo, so that's pretty much it, everybody. Remember that fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon and happy doodling. Take care. Bye-bye.